Fight night is upon us once again. After a roller coaster of a camp, Martine is ready to step into the ring against Tommy Hay and Sabbath. Everything is on the line tonight. Everything you work for, all year long, do you want to win? Then take breath, let's take it to them. Martin, right here, the boogeyman's in the building. Fight day is upon us. I'm ready for it. Getting the muscles loose, stretching out, getting warm. Just ready to hop up in there. I'm bout number five. So after the first intermission, I'm ready to hop in there. So I'm ready to go. I feel ready in here, mentally ready. I'm ready to hop in that ring and do the show. Hi, I'm Natalie. I am Martin's wife. I have been to every one of his fights, and I would have to say this fight has definitely been a lot different from the other ones. He woke up this morning feeling great. Like any other day compared to the other fights, he's woken up nervous or just really tense. Compared to today, he was like, let's go. And I think you're gonna see that in the ring, for sure gonna see it. He's definitely mentally prepared as much as physically prepared. When it comes to him prepping for fights, I usually am the one just on his side, telling him, helping him with meal preps, helping him get his stuff together, making sure that I'm there for our kids so that he can do what he needs to do. I think with this camp, definitely he was very mentally prepared, physically prepared. His mental state, you're gonna see is, compared to the last fight, if you guys all were there at the last fight, you definitely are gonna see like, oh no, this is a different Martin. He's coming in a lot stronger, harder, and you're gonna see the boogeyman come out for sure. My mindset's really just shifting from being a teacher, running the gym all day, and then having to quickly lock up, rush over here to the Commerce Casino. Really nothing changes for Martin. Everything that we've been training up to leads up till today. He tries to charge you, you push kick, or you angle out, okay? Use that jab, use those straight punches a lot tonight, okay? I promise you, you're gonna see the beauty of it. The hooks will be there, but start with the straight punches first. Sure. I'm all about keeping the same rhythm, keeping the same pattern, same sleep, same routine, same eating pattern, nothing changes because when you do that, your body tends to get shocked and it offsets your rhythm. So it's all about keeping the rhythm today. Martin's coming in here already knowing what the fight strategy is and we're gonna just keep reiterating it throughout the dressing room as he's warming up, as he's stretching. It's time, that's it, it's go time. Hey, what's going on guys? So we are excited. We're here at the Commerce Casino. I'm going to be assisting Crew Neal with being his corner man, and we are happy. We're excited. We're looking forward to this. We've been working hard for the last couple months. Having the privilege to be on the corner with one of our teammates is going to be huge. We're all out here. It's about 250 of us that came out to support. So we hope you guys enjoy it. My name is Kimberly Amaya, and I'm part of the operations team here at Muay Thai Kickboxing Gym. And I'm super, super excited that it's fight night. I'm so happy happy to see all of the crowd here. We have sold out this event, so we have 190 members here, not including the ones who are buying tickets at the door. So I'm super excited to see Martin showcase everything he's been working so hard on, seeing the behind the scenes finally come to life and come to fruition. You know, everybody wearing our shirts means that the culture's there. Hey guys, it's Jen here with MTKG. I'm super excited to be here from watching through corner Charles and his fight for only six members being here to 190, not including the people buying at the door. It makes me super, super emotional and excited that you guys are all here supporting us for MTKG family. Hey, I'm uh, Ulises from MTK Gym. And I'm looking forward to seeing my coach uh, whoop some ass today. And uh, I know he's gonna do great. And the uh, main reason I came is to support everybody here. I know my gym is one of the top gyms out there, so I know it's all gonna go well. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jose Cruz. I go to MTK Gym. I'm here with my, my whole family after the first fight that we went to, my boys fell in love. So now it's like a family tradition. So now I brought my wife and my daughter, so it's all good. You know, best of luck to our uh, Coach Martin. You know, super stoked, glad to be here. Hi, my name's Sabrina and uh, it's my first time coming out. I'm really looking forward to cheering on Coach Martin, seeing him see what he's got and show his heart. And Show back on our next 
fight is three rounds at the 143 pound weight division. Introducing first fight out of the red corner, representing MTK, Martin Warden. Let's go! Keep that going high and tight, all right? Who are, who are you tonight? Booker Man. Yell it to me. Who are you tonight? Booker Yell it to me. Booker Man. There you go. MTK. 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 Right here. So, buddy, just remember when I go up there, just put the bucket up there. Nice. Let's go, Martin. There you go. Nice. That's it. Good. That's it, Martin. That's it, Martin. That's it. There you go. Nice. Grab the lower back. There you go. Nice, Martin. That's it, that's it. That's it. There you go, set it up. Straight punches. Straight punches! Straight punches! Okay, Martin, what I want you to do so I know his game now. He's gonna try and clinch with you because he's tall. Deep breath, deep breath. Water, please. Put some on my head, man. We got it. Ice pack on his head, please. There you go. Don't trip it over his head, coach. Okay. When he gets you in the clinch, put your leg in between his legs when you put him up against the ropes, okay? I need you to use some straight punches. Stop playing his game. Don't clinch with him. Use your hands. Every time you throw those overhands, you're hitting them, okay? Keep your guard tight. Use those straight punches. Don't kick without setting it up, all right? Control yourself in the clinch. You're getting too worked up. Slow it down, all right? Slow it down. Use those straight punches, okay? Thank you. That's it, my team. That's it. There you go. There you go. That's it, my team. Beautiful. Put your leg in between. There you go. Put your leg in between. That's it. That's it. There you go. There you go. That's it, my team. There you go. Set it up. Good. There you go. Nice. Put your leg in between his legs. Put your leg in between it. There you go. There you go. That's it, Martin.
That's it, Martin. Beautiful. That's it. That's it, Martin. Just like that. Put him up against the ropes. That's it, Martin. That's it. Beautiful. Tie him up. That's it. Break it up, ref. Let's go. Beautiful, Martin. Keep it up. Oh. Shake it off, boy, team. Let's go. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. You're doing great, Martin. Oh, hey. come on. Martin, that was a good round, okay? You see how your straight punches are working? Water, please. Can you sit down, man? Edward, can you get a stool? Deep breath. Deep breath. Do you see how those straight punches work? Did you see how it worked? Yes? I need you to keep using it, okay? Keep using it, okay? You got one more round. Everything you work for, all year long. Do you want to win? Then deep breath. Let's take it to him. Every time you get in a pinch, put your leg in between. Tie him up against the ropes. Everything I told you works, Martin. Okay? I need you to take it to him. Can you do that? Can you do that? Everything you work for, Martin. This is his if he just fucking goes for it. That's it, tie him up, just like that. Just like that. Use those straight punches. There you go. Use those straight punches. That's it, Martin. That's it. Put him up against the ropes. Beautiful, beautiful. Just like that, Martin. Break it up, rep. Good job, Martin. Oy. That's it. That's it. Time up. Beautiful. Straight punches. Straight punches. There you go. There you go. Use that cross block. There you go. There you go. That's it, Martin. Time up. Beautiful. Last round. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Ridiculous, man. Last round, Martin. Let's go. I don't know about
want that point being taken away. Stand up tall. Stand up tall. You are not tired. We'll see what the judge did. I can't believe they took a point away. Look. This was a better performance than last time, though. Okay? This was a better performance. Hey, Daniel. Man. Great fight. Great fight. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Great fight. This was a better performance than last time. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Oh, my God. It's all about the line. It's all about it. I'm so proud of her. Uh, mine was good. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, I did have a hiccup. My buddy asked me for the bucket at the end. I was like, oh. Uh, he's like, how was your performance? Mine. Definitely like, okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ah, I, got it. <laughs> I don't but I disagree with the doctor. I was like, yeah, you weren't defending yourself. I was like, no, Bro, you know what he, it was? His crazy look that he always gets when he's fighting. He yeah, stopped, yeah. Like you like I know. His own yeah, yeah. yeah. And he just like and he's probably like, wait a minute, what's wrong with this guy? But that's the boogeyman look. That's, right. that's what exactly <laughs> that's what I, was like, I know what you're talking about. I know what you were yeah. I was like, what are you talking about? He wasn't defending. I was like, yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. bullshit. It just I think I thought maybe he was checking you because you got kind of a knee to the face. I did catch the knee to the face. Yeah, because you you yeah. like put your head down too low. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean he tapped me but it wasn't like Yeah, it was, a, yeah. It was fine. Yeah, good. Yeah. That's why I thought they were talking to you. I'm like, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, yeah. No, he's good. You still got it, bro. That's right. Time trip. That's right. Oh. Time to get dressed. Because you listen, because you yeah, and he's good. That's and that's what I hard work, dedication, discipline, sacrifice. Yeah. Those things always be always keep your success. You just can't stop. You know? Listen to the coach, you fight your fight. That's right. You're hard. That's right. No fear. That's right. No fear. Right. You don't have to you don't have to sit in gym, you don't have to be a little bitch, you go cry in the corner and hide in the window and there's different gym. That's right. Listen to the main guy. That's right. <laughs> day, all day. All day. Once I got that win and I had a trophy in my hand, I went up. Seeing my people, my family, my adopted family cheer and chant my name and yelling MTK was a beautiful thing. Just knowing that they're there supporting me 110% was a beautiful thing. Like my grandfather always told me, your family isn't what's blood. Your family is who you adopt and make a part of your life. That's your family and MTK is my family. They support me 110% because I support them. I inspired them and tonight they inspired me and hearing their chants and their voices and their feeling their love and their energy brought me forward to get that victory. And as long as they're there, I'm always gonna be here and I'm never gonna stop. The boogeyman's always gonna be come knocking to get his belt, all right? So next time you see me, I might come around with a belt from here, 
but definitely that green strap is what I want, and I'm not going to stop until I get it. Well, I bet I had a feeling they were going to do the clinch knees, and that's why I said, like, that's something I don't want to, I want you to stray away from the basics that I've taught you way in the beginning. Right, right. You saw, like, when you didn't really put your leg in between, you allowed him to create space, like it's super girl, and then yeah. knee, right? But the moment you put that leg in between, you pinned him up, he couldn't do anything. Yeah. And that's all I wanted you to do, and then those overhand hooks, was like, oh, and then you kind of threw some elbows yeah, in there, so yeah. he's like, oh, what the? That's all you need to do to yeah, disrupt yeah, people like that. Overhand, I was like, I can exactly, <laughs> exactly. But the main thing was just subduing him, putting that leg in between, trapping him up against the ropes. Yeah. He couldn't do anything. You well, know what I mean? Right. But that's what I'm saying. Like those straight punches are deadly. But yeah. people, people straight. Everyone wants the big hooks, the big uppercuts. It's all about the straight punches. Yeah. Straight punches allowed you to get those hooks in. You know what I mean? Because you gauge it, you gauge it. He came in, then you threw that overhand. Yeah. But one thing I want you to stop doing. He showed you from the very beginning. I should have told you that was my fault. Yeah. But once you try to catch his knee, he knew about the hook. Yeah. So he, stop doing it. Yeah. It's not gonna work on him anymore. Okay. He knows that. So stop catching the knees. Right. Maybe it's more sidestepping and countering, right. or stepping back when he and then countering. Yes, sir. Or stepping back, counter, counter, and then the leg kicks. Right. But you were landing the leg kicks when you threw him. All day. Yeah. All day. That's right. He didn't even want it anymore. No. On the legs. No. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying like, there's gonna be some fights that I'll tell you no clinch with the more team but there's some bones I'm like no it's not worth it yeah you know what I mean yeah. and you kind of that's why I said the first round you have to kind of just play smart fight smart because I'm watching that guy right now I'm watching him I'm right. studying him so as I, I just need one round and then I know what he's up to right and then I can help game plan your strategy for the future rounds yes sir you know what I mean yes, sir. but yeah to, today was better because you listened yeah. to everything I wanted and you saw every time you did it it worked yes sir so I think that gave you confidence too like let me keep doing this yeah. this is working yeah you know? As soon as I saw his nose start to bleed, I was like, yeah. I'm moving that target. And that, that and that low kick, man. and it was all from straight punches. Yeah. Those, those that bloody nose was from yeah. straight punches, yeah. and those were power shots. Yeah. He would come in and bow, and yeah, you snap the head back. That's why you scored heavier. Yeah. And then some of his knees didn't even land because because you punched him, his his knees like hit you yeah, yeah, didn't land solid. Yeah. And a lot of the knees, some of them scored, but a lot of them didn't. Yeah. A lot of them were hitting on the side, yeah. so it was more thigh contact. Right. So I'm glad the judges saw that. You know, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now I know like, when I caught the knees and I was trying to like go forward, I was like, fuck, I shouldn't have stepped too much. Yeah. I stepped too much. And then when I tried stopping, I tripped. It was the, was momentum. Like, the momentum. Yeah. Yeah. It's the momentum of yeah. you guys. That's all it was. Yeah. That's what I was like, too, man. Like, you really taking a point away. Yeah, yeah. I think you'll hear me on the mic. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, man, you know what I mean? Yeah. But oh, this but was a much it. better performance, OK? Yeah. You were very grounded. Yeah. You didn't rush anything. You got me a little worried in the third round though. You started kind of like, just, that's what I don't, I don't want to see that anymore okay. because you're, luckily that dude didn't angle out and like clock you with an overhand right. or something. Right. Don't do that stuff, it's unnecessary. Yes, what you were doing in the first two rounds, that's all you needed. Yes, that's all you needed, okay? Yes, sir. Proud of you though. <laughs> Very proud of you. All that year of work, yeah. that's what showcased tonight. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? All those little increments every day, making those mistakes. Me telling you, oh, okay, crew, okay, crew, right. every day. Come on, Martin. Oh, okay, crew. Right. You know what I mean? Play it out, bro. That's right. Play it out, bro. That's right. But go get dressed. Let's go celebrate. Forward, forward, like the boogeyman. Get shot, keep pushing. Get stabbed, keep pushing. Get sliced, keep pushing. I ain't stopping. I'm going forward no matter what comes landing at me. That's how I fight. That's why they call me the boogeyman. Handling all day, all day, baby. The boogeyman all day. <laughs>